Hi, this is Tom from SLAP. Uh, doing a review today on Avoy's Axis 2, which is their entry level helmet. Obviously, as it's the entry level one, the only thing that it seems to cut back on is uh, features. Um, it doesn't have as much ventilation, just the two there and the one on the back. Um, it doesn't come with a pin lock, but it is pin lock ready, so you just buy a pin lock for £20, £25, pound, however much they are, and, just, and you can fit one of them and it's fine. It has removable cheek pads, but no removable crown piece. As you go through the models, you tend to get features um, such as uh, better ventilation or better linings or removable linings and things like that as you go up, uh, rather than actual uh, more protection. They put safety before anything else, which is why they maybe sometimes arrows tend to be a bit more heavier. Not as aerodynamic and sometimes a bit noisier with the side pods, but they're spot on for safety. And they're all made of composite fibres. So they're really strong and they last a fair time. I think um, Avoy recommends seven years from date of manufacture or five years from date of purchase. The helmet has a double D strap, which is obviously straight through both of them, back through the other. Just pop it in there, just hold it in. The cheek pads are removable, they simply pull out. There's no kind of um, press studs or anything holding them in. Some people get a bit scared with the visor removal of our eyes, but it's not that bad. What you've got on your side pods when you lift it up, you get two little levers pop up on an SAI visor, which is what this is. Put pressure on your side pods, lift both levers up, roll back, and it comes straight back off. As long as you roll it back in that kind of motion, pulling it off can make it catch, and that might snap off on your side pods. To get it back on, just locate the two gaps on the holders. A little bit of a wiggle and it clicks straight back in. You can do it really, really quickly. I mean, I think this is a great helmet to start you off on the Arrow Ladder. It's a nice, safe helmet. It's at a reasonable price. It's not ridiculously expensive. I mean, if you get the plain colour one, £250, that's quite an average price to pay for a helmet, I think. So I think it's, it's good in terms of what you're getting for your money. Um, so we're going to try and get back into the whole YouTube thing again, doing uh, more reviews, trying to uh, video some more of our trips, there's a couple of trips last year that I didn't video, and the blog thing again, I'm going to start the blog soon, so um, I'll probably do uh, much more detailed write-ups on helmets and other gear that I'll be reviewing, uh, that you could also be able to read on there if you want a bit more, a bit more detail, okay, thanks very much.